channel. My name is Alicia Ile, and today we're going to talk about traveling tips. So, if you're interested, please keep on watching. Let's get into it. Have y'all ever, it, like, for me, this is my first time uh, ever doing an all-inclusive, right? We are going on vacation. My nails is looking janky. Just don't mind it. We going on vacation soon, so it's going to be. It's, this is not the vacation nails, okay? These are cute, but these wasn't going to get vacation for me, okay? So y'all going to see my vacation nails. I'm going to post them. So check out my Instagram, personality on high. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see the... It's gonna be a movie. All right. Okay. I'm doing a lot. All right. So, yes. With the vacation, um, looking for all-inclusive can be a little nerve-wracking, especially if this is your first time. You don't really know what to look for. You just want a really great experience, but you also don't want to murder your pockets, right? So, when it came to looking for an all-inclusive for me... I did a lot of price matching. I looked at allinclusiveoutlet.net or whatever it's called, as well as Cheap Caribbean, for those that know about Cheap Caribbean. So sometimes each one can be a little more pricier than others. So it's always good if you find... I, I looked at like four different places. Um, and for some of y'all that don't know, Bay is vegetarian. So... It kind of limits certain places because, you know, when you also are looking at reviews of um, each place, I always look about the food because I'm paying for this food. I'm paying for the drinks. So there was a website. I don't remember the name of the website. If I could find it, I'll leave it in the description. But if I can't, I'm sorry. But there was a website that, like, most of the all-inclusives in all places that have all inclusive would tell you, like, the hard truth, like, what's the pros and what's the cons of each place. Um, some of them would be like, oh, the Wi-Fi is bad, or the rooms are not as updated or renovated, or the food is trash, or, um, the drinks are not strong, like, they're pretty, like, watered down, or da da da, da like, stuff like that. So, with the all-inclusive that we chose, um, actually, they didn't have it on that website, but when I was looking at the all-inclusive outlet website, I was reading through things. I was also looking at the different restaurants they have because uh, I need to make sure that Bay eats, okay? He is not going to just eat some vegetables. He needs some protein, okay? So I try to find places. Um, if you are a vegetarian or vegan, look for a pl places that typically are that have American and Italian food. Um, and sometimes like Thai ish, they might have some like, you know, other foods and definitely breakfast, like stock up on your breakfast if you can. Um, because it's hard. Like a lot of these places are, sh are telling you about steakhouses, meats and stuff like that. And granted that's for me, but I need to make sure that my man eat. So that was a little harder to find. Um, but Whatever. You gonna, we gonna find some. We gonna find some. We only there for like four days. We gonna find some. Um, but yeah, so we found all inclusive. It was decently priced. Um, I wanna say everything came up to maybe about maybe seventeen, eighteen hundred for both of us for those amount of days. Uh we also got an upgraded room, so we got a really nice room for the adult only side. So, because I ain't trying to be around nobody kids. I, I, I like kids until I'm on vacation. Because I don't, I don't, I'm not even getting paid to be around y'all. And y'all know what I mean. Like, we could like the kids, but we don't want to, we don't want to like the kids on vacation. We want to be adults and we want to do our adult activities without a kid looking at me like, Oh my God, mommy, what is she doing? Her red cheeks are out. Oh my God. No, mind your business, little little Kim, little 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 Timmy, mind your business, <laughs> okay? So, 
Yes, so that's the all-inclusive. When it comes to all-inclusive planning now, um, I would, I've been told that we should wait to do the excursions when we get to the, you know, when you get there. Because you never know what the weather's looking like. So you don't want to pay ahead of time. And then it's like, damn, I lost out my money. Or now I got to worry about rescheduling. What if I can't even reschedule? Like, all that anxiety. Let's get, let's try to keep the anxiety to a minimum. Okay. You could probably find more excursions when you get to the, um, when you get to the all inclusive as, as well. Um, one thing I was also told when it comes to all inclusives, when it comes to tipping, definitely make sure that you tip. Like granted, some places don't take tips, but if they take tips, make sure you tip them well. Don't be giving no $1, $2. Okay. Give them like five. At least. Like, we're going to Cancun, so we're going to give, like, five. You know, whatever. Or probably more, depending on what the situation is. Because if you tip well, they will treat you well. Okay? Don't be stingy. You you already pay for your all-inclusive. You already getting your free food, your, your free drinks. You get all you want. You can eat your belly full. Okay? So make sure that you tip them for their service the right way. Don't be stingy. Um, but, yeah. So that is... Pretty much it for this part of the video. I did not want to make these videos too long. I will make the next video that talks about when it comes to um, actually packing for your all-inclusive. So, if you're interested...